Assalamu alaikum. So the we left at the alphabet we reached the letter S so sa sa the second one is sha sha notice the difference between the two just the dots on top here three dots sha then the sa 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 da da also notice the difference just the dot on top so these are two letters da ta ta va va also notice the same shape the difference is this dot here on top so here you have these names for these letters just like you have in english the name here is for the sa is seen seen notice first letter is the letter being described seen the sha sha is sheen sheen the sa sad sad that's the name so sad that's first letter here is the sa here sa sad da dad dad ta 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 va 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 now this letter here the sa that's how it looks in the beginning of a word sa sa in the middle of a word sa at the end of a word sa sa its uh, sound is similar to the s sound in sandwich uh, it's used in arabic now same uh, noun sandwich so there is different ways of saying it de depending on uh, dialect so i wrote it this way now i'm using these marks here so these here are called diacritics or tashkil and they tell you how to pronounce the the letter uh, it's either with an a sa or an e we we didn't take this letter yet but just to give you that sound so or an u like here i will go over these uh, just in a second so sandwich sandwich that's what the word you use for sandwich uh, different dialects will pronounce it differently but it uh, looks the same sandwich this sha here sha that's how it looks in the beginning in the middle of a word at the end of the word now notice when it's at the end and have that or by itself like in here you only write the two tooth there and the third one is, completes the letter when it's by itself or at the end here when it's in the middle or in the beginning of a word you see you have to show the three tooth or teeth one two three uh, same thing here one two three the reason why you do that is other letters might have a tooth so you distinguish between these and the other ones so sha sha it sounds similar or approximate to the she the sha and she she here in arabic here she here this here is the sa 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 that's the how it looks in the beginning sa in the middle sa at the end now with this sa and this da notice they look the same the difference is the da is the dot on top in this da here when it's written it has the small tooth after it so don't think there is a letter there for whatever reason that's how it's used in arabic they have this small not as uh, obvious as these uh, tooth for these letters but just like a, a small tooth there sa and with the da so just don't think of it as a different letter but it, that's how it's written with the sa and the da if it's within a word if it's not within a word it looks like this just the sa there sa 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 the approximation for it is the word sun it's like the say the the s in sun it's not exactly like it but that's a good approximation which means uh, shams shams in arabic uh, actually 
when they use an English name that has a sun in it, like uh, the Daily Sun, a newspaper, they write the name sun as sun. This N here. So they write the name sa to represent the S in sun. So if they want to write the word sun in Arabic to indicate, let's say, a newspaper that's called sun, they write it with the sa here. So it's a good approximation for it. The da, da, you have different ways. I will show a table that have uh, from another book that can help you get some idea how to pronounce it. But just listen to different people, how they do it, you and try to get your own. The best way is to practice da, da. Again, in the beginning like this, in the, uh, at the, in the middle of a word like this, at the end of a word looks like this. As I said, just pay attention to that small uh, tooth there. This is approximate, I chose the word done, done, done as in finished in English. If you say uh, the work is done, it's finished. So you said da. So it's closer to this, an approximation to it. Of course, other people will have different words. So as I said, you can check on Wikipedia for each individual letter and see what other people use to approximate it, if they have something. So in Arabic, it means intaha, but it's not always, this word is not always used the same way as it's used and done. So just uh, pay attention to that. Or umila, umila. I'm not going to go into the grammar of these, just that's some of the words that indicate something is done. So if you don't memorize these or worry about these, it's okay. But I'm just giving you the meaning of the word that I use in English in Arabic. So done, it means intaha. Da, done, done, da. This is da, da. Try to approximate with the da, done, done. This ta here, you notice there is no small tooth behind it it's like this. So only has this uh, stick there on top. So ta, ta. In the beginning looks like this, in the middle like this, at the end looks like this. You see there is no change between the beginning or the end if it's written separately. So an approximation to it is bottom, bottom. So as in American English, bottom. So uh, stress the T, but it's not exactly a stress T. There's like a ta to it. So again, with practice, you get the ta, ta. This is the meaning of it, qar. So the bottom of the uh, cup. Qa'ar al-kas. So that's the bottom of it. Bottom. Ba, ta, ta, ta. In here, the last one is the dha. So dha. In the beginning, in the middle, at the end. Dha, dha. So this here also needs uh, some practice, but I've used the word thus. Uh, well, it's not exactly like the the, but that vowel after the the here, the, 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 thus, thus. So in English you say the the, it's closer to the the, but try to say the, thus, 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 thus. It's, I think that vowel there can help with the tr practicing the way of you, you pronouncing this uh, letter. Uh, again, other people use different words and you can just see, try to work it out with the listening to it. The meaning of it is hakada. So, uh, so like this, that's the meaning of hakada, hakada. So you can say hakada or thus or so. That's some of the meaning of this word. Again, these words you don't have to worry about memorizing. I'm just giving you the meaning of the English word. The, the, the. 
Now here, these diacritics, you see this is the letter B. This diacritic here says B. This tells you to pronounce it as B. You add that A and then B. B. If you have this on top of the letter O, you say Bu. 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 If it's at the bottom here, this scratch here, B. B. So these diacritics help you learn the pronunciation, which way you should go, uh, which short vowel. These are called short vowels you can use. B, bu, b, b, bu, b. Here is an approximation of them, this a, a, u, u, and e, e. You see, I put this arrow down here, e. So this is just an explanation of these three diacritics. There are others, but for now, just get an idea what these are. We will cover these more, so don't worry about uh, these for now if you don't have to. If you have time to check these out, that's good. If not, just uh, focus on these letters now.